Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, topics model question paper agriculture engineering which is, which is already asked previous year state public service examination 2022 it might be useful for you to revise all those things okay first question during testing of braking performance of a tractor the tractor is operated at a speed and the tractor is operated at a speed of traveling speed we want to uh, actually the tractor should be tested for brake test at an operating speed of 35 km per hour or its maximum attainable speed whichever is less maximum attainable speed whichever is less so option b is the correct answer you should note it down the tractor braking performance should be within 35 km or maximum attainable speed whichever is lesser so less than 35 you can Note it down, which is less than 35 km per hour. It should not be on the 35 km per hour. So, the next question. Precision agriculture is also known as. This precision agriculture was founded by Robert. He is the founder of the precision agriculture. Precision agriculture is also known as satellite crop management. Satellite crop management. So, everything should be done in a precision using the data available. Already it is available. So we are using this satellite crop management or site specific crop management. We can tell this precision agriculture is satellite crop management or site specific crop management. So here they have given the satellite farming. So we can choose the satellite farming as answer. Option D is the correct answer. Satellite farming. Okay. Next question. Which of the following is not a part of the fixed cost? fixed cost of farm machinery operation so there are two types of cost is that one is fixed cost and another one is the variable cost okay so fixed cost which depreciation will lead to the fixed cost so year by year the tractor or the machinery get depreciated okay so it is a fixed cost fixed cost so then the insurance and taxes insurance and taxes also it is a fixed cost okay fixed cost so taxes are fixed we cannot change the taxes and insurance also repair and maintenance it is the variable cost okay repair and maintenance so sometimes it get uh, repaired in engine or else in radiator it can be varied so this cost can be varied variable cost repair and maintenance cost can be varied so option c is the correct answer interest on inv investment also fixed cost it, it also leads to the fixed cost interest on investment Oh, so option c is the correct answer note it down next question which is not the real world spatial future in geographical information system so in gs there are four types of data are there one is a point data another one is a line data another is a polygon data and is a continuous surface so here the options are points polygon lines so circles is not here so it is not the real world spatial future so option d is the correct answer okay next question which is not an essential part of gps gps global positioning system so this global positioning system what are the essential segments are there so the essential segments include location we are track the location important segment is location then the management or control segment so management and control segment also important control segment is more important in gps tracking system and then the receivers are user segments so user segment is also a most important thing it is an essential part no so when the gps is utilizing we want to use this receiver so that only we can easily analyze the position of an object so location or space segment so here we cannot use this sensor or transducer segment so sensor segment is not used for gps okay so option b is the correct answer it is not an essential part of gps okay then next question which resolution explain the technical capabilities of the sensor system so these are the resolutions here uh, you want to find which is the technical capability of the ten sensor system I take uh, that the resolution which explains the technical capabilities so spatial resolution it indicates the number of bandwidth of specific intervals of wavelength in electromagnetic spectrum it indicates the number of bandwidth spectral resolution and radiometric resolution measures the reflected radiation from an object so if there is an object is here it uh, reduces the 
reflected radiation it measures so radiometric resolution is also important and then the temporal resolution temporal resolution is used for the uh, it uh, it means uh, how often the sensor records the imaginary of same area so temporal it records the uh, imaginary records the imagery of same area okay same area how often so this is where the temporal resolution is used so he, he can easily ca find it out what are the resolutions spatial resolution is there spectral resolution is there temporal resolution is also there there is no normal resolution so it does not represents the technical capabilities so here 2 3 and 4 are correct answer actually c is the correct option 2 and 3 4 only so next question which of the following implements is not used for conservation tillage? So, first you understand what is conservation tillage. So, in, it is a minimal tillage system that leaves a sufficient crop residue to cover the soil surface by 30%. This is known as a conservation tillage. In conservation tillage, we can use a zero till drill, sill drill, happy seeder, and we cannot use this seed come fertilizer drill. So, it is not comes under the uh, implement use for conservation tillage so option b is the correct answer here the not used is mentioned so next question which of the following is not a type of rotary encoder used in precision agriculture so what is a not a type of rotary encoder used in precision agriculture here the correct option is option c inductive it is not a type of rotary encoder in precision agriculture next question power sprayers are operated at a pressure range from so basically power sprayers can operate at a pressure of 20 to 55 kg per centimeter square okay then so it is uh, usually operated with the internal combustion engine okay ic engine so the prime mover uh, the capacity of the prime mover is 1 to 5 hp okay these are the important points we want to know about the power sprayer then it can also be portable type portable type sprayer or else it can be operated using pto shaft okay operated using pto shaft so these are the important points you want to know about the power sprayer here the correct option is 22 option c 22 55 kg per centimeter square so next question which of the following statement is true for for the laser land leveler so laser land leveler so so actually the first statement it helps in saving a yeah, 25 to 30 percentage of water is a correct statement its initial cost is not low the initial cost is higher when compared to the other types of levelers the laser level is higher it levels the field having any degree of slope this statement is also wrong so any degree it should not be up to it can measure up to 0.02 percent of slope only it can be used laser level can be used it is not a primary delay equipment so the correct option is it helps in saving 25 to 30 percentage of water okay option a is the correct answer next question combined harvester is not designed for Actually, what is combined harvester? We can use this combined harvester in harvesting the rice crops and other crops too. So, it is used for cutting the cutting the standing crops, correct? Huh? Threshing the harvested crops, correct? Cleaning the grains and the straw, okay. It cannot withdraw the harvest crops. So, option B is here, the correct answer. It is not designed for withdrawing the harvested crops. Next question. Dash is the moisture content of the residual oil in de-oiled cake so you want to find the moisture content here moisture for de-oiled cake is it is 4 to 5 percentage okay 4 to 5 percent of moisture content of residual oil in de-oiled cake only 4 to 5 percentage is there next question dash states the work required in crushing is proportional to the new surface area created so in size reduction there are three important laws are there so one is kick's law another one is Rittinger's law and third one is the bond's law so 
these three types of laws we want to first of all know to answer the questions so coming to the bond's law it is a work required to form a particles of large speed is proportional to the square root of the surface so square root of surface to volume ratio of the product it represents the bond's law this formula is used to represent the bond's law that is p by f it is energy so 1 by dp minus df so dp denotes the 80 percentage of the product passes through the mesh and df denotes the 80 percentage of feet passes through the mesh okay this is the bond's law and kick's law it is a work required for crushing a material is constant for same reduction ratio so ln is equal to x f by divided by x p for retinges law only this work in crushing is proportional to the new surface area created so retinges law so retinges law formula is equal to e is equal to 1 by x p minus 1 by x f so it is a retinges law formula so used for crushing so x p and x f is the length of the product and feed respectively okay here the correct option is option b retinges law next question dash is defined as the ability of a screen for closely separating the feed into overflow and underflow into its size so we want to find so it is nothing but so effectiveness of the screen so option b is the correct answer efficiency not under for screen not so option b effective of effectiveness of a screen is only defines the ability of screen for close the separating the feed into overflow and underflow condition next question dash is the process where the filtrate passes across thickness of porous sheet while the suspended solids are retained on a surface of the sheet so here the sheets so the suspended solids are retained on the surface of the sheets so it is known as surface filtration okay surface filtration so option c is the correct answer it is a process of where the filtrate passes across the thickness of porous sheet so next question the capacity of the bucket elevator may vary from so so 2 to 1000 tons per hour okay so it is the capacity the speed of the bucket varies from 2.5 to 4 meter per second okay speed varies from bus speed of the bucket varies from 2.5 to 4 meter per second so there are front feed in bucket elevator there are front feed is there and back feed and combined feed so three types of feeding is possible in bucket elevator combined feed okay then things to know about bucket elevator is so the vertical lift of the elevator may range between a uh, few meters to 50 up to 50 meters up to 50 meters vertical lift of elevator vertical lift of elevator bucket elevator so these are the points important aspects of one more questions so capacity they will ask or else they will ask the speed and what are the feed types okay so here the question is uh, correct answer is option c 2 to 1000 tons per hour okay next question the moisture content attained by a grain with respect to set of atmospheric temperature and relative humidity is called so it is known as equilibrium moisture content emc equilibrium moisture content so the grain can attain with respect to set of atmospheric temperature and relative humidity equilibrium moisture content so bound water not air is not critical moisture content so next question to carry out freeze drying successfully the absolute pressure in the drying chamber absolute pressure and drying chamber must be attained and absolute concentration or generally pressure of at least so here the pressure what is the pressure of the drying chamber in freeze drying is the pressure is 620 pascal okay it should be maintained with at least of 620 pascal so option a is the correct answer so the next slide we can discuss in next class hope hopefully i think that this might be useful for you if you like the video please hit the like button thank you for watching my videos